In the last few lectures, we learned about loops in great detail. We learned about different types of loop and how a loop works. Now, sometimes we might want to break out of a loop without waiting for the condition to fail. Or sometimes we might want to skip an iteration of a loop. That we can do using break and continue statement. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about break and continue statement and what they do. Basically, we use break statement to break out of a loop explicitly without waiting for the loop condition to fail. And we use continue statement to skip an iteration of a loop. Let's try to understand them with an example. Let's go to VS Code. So here I have written a simple while loop. What we have here is we have a variable x. We have initialized x with 1 and we are checking while the value of x is less than equal to 10, we want to execute this loop. Okay. And for each iteration, we are incrementing the value of x. So if I save the changes, it is going to log value of x is equal to 1 to value of x equal to 10. Now what I want is as soon as the value of x is 5, I want to break out of the loop. So I want to print from value of x is 1 to value of x is 5. After that, I don't want to continue with the loop. I want to break out of the loop explicitly. I don't want to wait for this condition to fail. Okay, so as soon as the value of x is 5, I want to break out of this loop. And I want to break out of this loop explicitly. So what I can do is I can write a condition here, an if statement, and there I can check if the value of x, if it is equal to 5, then I explicitly want to break out of this while loop. So here I will use break statement. Okay, using break statement, we can break out of a loop explicitly. So now if I save the changes, you will see that value of x from 1 to 4 has been logged. And as soon as the value of x is 5, this if condition will return true. And this break statement will be encountered. And as soon as the break statement will be encountered, we will break out of the loop. So no more iteration will happen. And this is the use of break statement. Normally, a loop exits when its condition becomes falsy. However, there might be some situations where we want to forcefully exit out of the loop. And we can force the exit from a loop at any time using break statement. Whenever this break statement will be encountered, it will simply break out of the loop and no more iteration will happen for that loop. Now, why I am putting this break statement inside if statement? That's because we might want to break out of a loop based on a condition. If we don't use it inside a condition, if I use it outside of this if statement, in that case, during the first iteration itself, this break statement will be encountered and we will break out of the loop. And that is not something we want. If we want to break out of a loop after first iteration itself, then we will not need the loop at all. Right. So that's why we write this break statement inside a conditional statement like if statement. So using break statement, we can break out of a loop explicitly. And once we break out of a loop, no more iteration for that loop will happen. Now let's talk about continue statement. Let me go ahead and let me comment this code. So continue statement, it is a lighter version of break. It does not stop the whole loop. Instead, it stops the current iteration and forces the loop to start a new one. So we can use continue statement when we want to skip the current iteration and would like to move on to the next iteration. So for example, let's say I have a for loop there. I am creating a variable i. Let's assign it with initial value zero. Let's write the condition that i should be less than 10. And let's increment the value of i for each iteration. Now inside the body, what I want to do is I want to simply log the value of i. So I'll say console.log i. Okay, if I save the changes here, it is going to log from 0 to 9 because the initial value of i is 0 and we are checking as long as the value of i is less than 10, we want to continue this loop. Okay, so that's why as soon as the value of i is 10, this loop exit. It did not execute the loop body. So this is correct. Now, what I want is here, I want to check if the number is an odd number 
then only I want to print its value. If the number is an even number, I don't want to execute this code. I want to skip that iteration and start the next iteration. For that, before this statement, we can again write an if statement. And here we will check if i modulus 2, if it is equal to 0, that means the value stored in this variable i is an even number. So every even number, if we divide it by 2, the remainder will be 0. Right. So the value stored in the variable i, if it is divisible by 2, if its remainder is 0, that means that value is an even number. And we don't want to print the even number. We only want to print the odd number between 0 and 9. So that's why we are checking this condition. And if this condition returns true, that means the number is an even number. So we simply want to skip the iteration. We don't want to execute this code. So here we will write continue statement. And remember that whenever this continue statement is encountered, the rest of the code does not get executed and the next iteration immediately starts if the condition allows it. So now if I save the changes, you will see it is logging value from 1 to 9, all the odd numbers. So here what is happening is, initially the value of i is 0. So for that iteration, 0 modulus 2, it is going to return 0. So this condition will return true. And in that case, this body, this continue statement will be encountered from here itself it will start the next iteration. So rest of the code will not be executed. From here, it will start the next iteration. In the next iteration, the value of i will be incremented to 1. So 1 is less than 10. Condition will return true. Again, we will come inside this for loop. There we are checking 1 modulus 2 equal to equal to 0. This condition will return false. So in that case, this continuous statement will not be encountered and this line of code will be executed and it will log 1 and again the value of i will be incremented to 2 now 2 is again less than 10 so we will come inside the for loop body there we are checking if 2 modulus 2 if it is equal to 0 so again this condition will return true this continue statement will be encountered all other codes will not be executed and the next iteration will start immediately so now again the value of i will be incremented to 3 again condition will be checked and then it will come inside this for loop body. So as you can see, every time this continue statement is encountered, the rest of the code does not get executed and the next iteration starts immediately. And this is the use of continue statement. It simply skips the current iteration. Again, I have written it inside an if statement because if I don't write it inside an if statement, in that case, all the iterations will be skipped. Right. And in that case, there is no use of writing the loop. So that's why whenever we want to use a break statement or this continue statement, we always write it inside a conditional statement so that whenever the condition of that conditional statement returns true, then only we will either break out of the loop using this break statement or we will skip the iteration using this continue statement. I hope the use of break statement and continue statement is clear to you. And we will see a practical example of this break statement and this continue statement in one of the future lectures of this course. But for now, just remember that if you want to break out of a loop explicitly, you can use break statement. And if you want to skip an iteration, you can use continue statement. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.